Hello, my name is Nate. Welcome to my Fluid Art channel. Uh, before I uh, lead you into my video today, I wanted to say thank you because I just passed a, a, a small milestone. I went a little over 3,000 followers. And thank you so much to everybody who has subscribed, who shares, who comments and likes all of my videos. Thank you very much. I love the interaction that I get with everybody. The comments always make me laugh and smile. And uh, I'm really enjoying having this channel and coming up with crazy things to do with paint. So thank you very much for being on this journey with me. Um, I hope if you're joining us for a premiere night, I hope you, everybody has already watched uh, The Morning Pour with Holly, uh, Lori Houston Art and Camille Amoy Art, who are my regular Tuesday premiere uh, train partners. Uh, but tonight I also have a special guest who is following me, uh, who is Julie E. She and I talk on Messenger sometimes late at night. We're both night owls. And I came up with this idea to do like a monthly collaboration with her where we each have one color in common and then we build our own color palettes uh, based on that. Um, we can do any technique we want. Um, and she has chosen for our first collab, uh, Primary Magenta, which is a great color to play with because it's a primary color. It blends and does beautiful things with all kinds of different colors. I chose in this painting to use just three colors, Primary Magenta, Primary Cyan, and Titanium White. Um, this particular technique, the Nautilus Pour, um, it works best with strong contrast and a minimal color palette. So I also know that this technique um, does a lot of blending, or uh, gets, gives you a lot of blending. So I knew that using Primary Magenta and Primary Cyan would also give me this beautiful purple color uh, for some depth and, and contrast, and I really am very happy with it. Can't wait to see what Julie E.D. does, and um, uh, I'll take you down to the canvas so we can get started. Hello, my name is Nate. Welcome to my Fluid Art channel. Today I'm doing another Nautilus pour, and I'm gonna be using my five chamber split cup, um, but I'm only, and I'm only gonna use the outside two on each of them because I am using primary magenta and primary cyan. There's a lot of blending in this technique, so these two together make a really dark, dark purple, but the third color I'm using is Amsterdam Titanium White, so we get, might get a little bit of pink, we might get a little light blue as well. So that's what I love about this technique is you end up with, you may have three colors, but you end up with six different colors. So I think that's a lot of fun. And something I'm doing a little bit different this time, I always like the, um, uh, the air bubbles that pop and create little cells throughout the whole technique, you know, pouring it and stirring it and spinning it out. Everything creates a little bit of uh, some air uh, bubbles inside, uh, but I'm going to enhance it by putting some silicone in here and see if we can get some, uh, some interesting cells to come up through all of those other colors. So I'm using spot on treadmill belt lubricant and I have four ounces of paint in each of these colors. So I'm only going to put in two drops of silicone. It doesn't take much. Two drops there, two drops in the red, and I'm not putting any silicone at all in the white. And so we will go ahead and stir that in, and I'll show you my paint consistency using the cyan here. Give it a decent little stir. There we go. And I'm using wooden sticks, new little wooden sticks to um, to stir this in because I uh, usually throw things away if they have silicone in them. Uh, my split cup uh, is an old one, uh, but I, it's my favorite or one of my favorites, so one of my favorite tools. So I'm going to uh, soak it in some uh, uh, water with dish soap in it. Um, and really give it a good scrubbing because I don't want to have to throw that away. But I will be throwing these sticks away because I don't want them to contaminate something else later on. So uh, let's go ahead and layer our split cup. We're going to put, oh, let me show you the paint consistency. So here is my consistency. I hope you can see that. It's very thick, leaves a mound on a mound. This is my normal pouring medium, which is Floetrol PVA glue and gloss varnish. And it is nice and thick. It's as thick as I can get it um, for this pour. So we'll go ahead and put, this is a uh, 20 by 20 inch canvas. I need about uh, 14 or 15 ounces of paint. I'm using three chambers. So we're gonna try and put no more than 
four ounces per chamber. So we're not going to fill it all the way up, but we're going to get it close. Which means that if I'm using four ounces of paint, it means that um, I won't have any negative space left at the end. I will spin this all the way out, or at least that's what I intend to do. There we go. There's the blue. And I'll put some white right next to it. White in this chamber also. I think I mixed up just enough, so I'll have to scrape this cup if it doesn't get it all out. over from the other day. I'll use that. Finish this chamber out. pretty good. Okay, now let's put down our base coat. This is also Amsterdam titanium white, but I have thinned it out with some water. I just want this to have a wet canvas. I don't necessarily need um, a lot of it. So I'll put this down and then spin it out. Its purpose here is to uh, wet the canvas. If you, if you didn't put a base coat down, part of your poured colors would just uh, roll over top themselves as you spin it out. So you lose a lot of your composition and, and your uh, uh, the good bits. Lose all the good bits. Okay, we're going to take a string. We're going to dip it from corner to corner to find our center. Okay, so now we're going to do a uh, ring pour here in the center. Actually, we're going to go this way. And I'm going to turn the canvas slowly uh, counterclockwise. So here we go.
So here's a close up of the wet result. So cool, I really like it. Uh, I'm so glad I picked these colors for uh, Independence Day. Actually, Costa Rica, uh, Costa Rica's Independence Day is September 15th, and their uh, flag colors are red, white, and blue also. So this is great. I'm celebrating both of my heritages here. So <laughs> this center, so cool. Look at that. Wow. And um, I definitely got, where's it? It was it definitely got some purple going on over here, that deep violet color. Wow, really nice. I'm glad I kept some uh, white on the outside edge. There's a little bit, the paint's a little uneven, but that should dry flat uh, this corner also. Uh, I'm not sure why, but as I was pouring, or as I first started spinning, it was um, spinning off all in one direction. I'm not sure why that happened, but it did uh, make it possible for me to uh, keep some negative space in those corners, and I actually really, really like it. I love that purple. I love the fact that you can see red and blue and white, and I think it's super cool. I hope you enjoyed it too. Stay tuned for the dry results. So here we have a close-up of the dry results. I'm super happy with how this dried. It's so beautiful. Um, I still love that center. I love like the explosion of cells. I love how in this purple area, all of these blue and pink cells came up. And you can actually follow the spiral. If you look, uh, follow these pink cells all the way around, they come into this whole uh, red section down here. Same thing with the blue. The blue starts up in here and follows all the way around. I'm just super happy with how the spiral worked on this. These colors blended beautifully. I'll take you around through the whole thing. Uh, this corner that I was a little worried about because it was um, uh, a little uneven, dried perfectly flat, so that's great. I love this scalloped edge here in blue and white, so pretty. And look at the transparency I got with that uh, primary magenta right over top of the blue and red there, really pretty. Um, because I, I'm an aggressive spinner, my cells are a little wonky, but I'm okay with that. They look more natural that way. And um, all of these beautiful wavy lines coming up through it. Really, really nice. I love this technique and I love spirals. It's just a, a beautiful natural shape, that Fibonacci thing. Uh, so yes, there we go. I, think, I hope you enjoyed this. Please give me a thumbs up if you liked this video. Subscribe if you'd like to see more and come back and see me sometime.